coming up on Archer Fish. Oh, that's a monster. Whoa, whatever it is, it's big. Holy crap. Holy sh. Oh my gosh, it's a massive red. It's our last shot at it. Finally, we got a bridge net. There's dolphins, man. I'm running out of time. Oh, fuck it. What is up, everybody? This is John with Archer Fish. I am in Florida. Check it out. It's my biannual fishing trip with my dad. We're gonna start in Stewart, head over to Cedar Key, and then fish Sanibel in that area. And I'm super excited about this. I uh, just got off the plane. I go meet my dad, and we're gonna get on the road. All right, on the road, headed to our first leg of the trip, Stewart, Florida. Last time we were there, we actually did not do very well. We caught the trout in two days, caught all trout, but then we ended it with the 38 inch snook, which actually took both of us to oh. land. It was, it was awesome. So who knows, it's October, it's the mullet run. That side of the, of the coast there is actually really productive this time of year. So hopefully we'll get on some big fish, lots of fish. I'm here with my dad once again, our biannual trip. You ready to do this? Yeah, man, let's do it. All right. All right, guys, we are here. We're finally fishing. It's about 11.30 Tuesday night. We are in Stewart, Florida, and we are trying to get our hands on some fish. Always the same suspects, snook, trout, drum, reds, any game fish whatsoever. Seen a little bit of activity here. Tide is high, going out. So hopefully we'll get our hands on some fish very soon. <laughs> Snapper. Snook? It's a baby snook. <laughs> All right, that is it. It's about 2 a.m. Been out here for a while. Caught a couple snapper, baby snook, little lady fish. Not much going on, not seeing a lot. There's a lot of bait out here though. So we're gonna call it for the night, get up early, you know, hit the usual spots first thing. All right, see you tomorrow. All right, good morning. We are back. This is day two or day one, I'm not sure. Or day two, I guess. <laughs> um, we're still in Stewart. We're gonna hit a couple of spots, see if we cannot catch some fish. That was quick. It feels like a jack. Yeah? Yeah, cause he's running. Look at that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we just fucking, every time we complain, right? <laughs> Dude, that fucker's going for you, buddy. That's, that. you can land it. That's not that big. I just have a, my drag's loose. Oh. <laughs> well, get off the dock, buddy. <laughs> yeah. Side. Oh, good. Here are your gloves. If you, if you grab them by the black spots, yeah. they usually don't move. All right. Another jack, huh? I think so. That's the way he's running. How is that possible? The jack? Nice job. <laughs> yeah, about the same. Nice. God, that's bigger. <laughs> Hold it up.
There he is. Now he knows he's hooked. Jack City. Oh, that's a mama. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. Shaking its head like that? Come this way, come walk down. Shit. Oh, he wrapped Yeah, you let him wrap you, Dad. You can unwrap him. There you go, there you go, there you go. Now, as soon as he comes around, there you go. Nice. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Flying fish. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's a, so far so good. It's the first day. We're in uh, Stewart, and uh, at least we're getting into a bunch of jacks. Nothing huge. Um, no game fish just yet, but we've been getting into tons of jacks, which are a lot of fun to keep you busy, you know, while you're waiting on the big bite. Anyway, we're just kind of uh, checking out the situation here, and then we'll probably try some new spots because I want to get on a big snook. Would be nice. Alright, we were just stocking up on supplies, went and got some mullet from the beach. Uh, we're gonna go grab some shrimp and we're gonna head to one of the bridges and see if we cannot wrestle a giant snook. It's massive. Look at that. So we just moved spots. We haven't fished this spot at the beach in, in uh, many years, so we want to come check it out, see what it looks like. Um, the bridge, not much was going on. I didn't see anybody catch a fish. Um, the, there was this giant tarpon rolling, 80 pound, 100 pound, just demolishing giant mullet. Could not get them to eat though. So yeah, we took off and uh, we're just waiting for the evening bite around the uh, place. I think it's a jack. It's it's hauling ass. Oh, <laughs> nice. There you go. Hold on. Ready to flip them? Yep. Flip them. <laughs> Jesus, Dad. Look at this. Feels like it's like a ladyfish. Or, or a jack, maybe. It's strong, whatever it is. Oh, it's, it's a little snook. It's like a pole, man. You can feel them, too. Oh, no, it's a bluefish. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Nice. Cool. Oh, the uh, thanks, buddy. Ah, dog. Probably. Feels good, though. God. Oh, jeez. Oh, it's just a big jack. Barely hooked. It's normal anyway, isn't it? 
it's almost more of a pain in the ass on that heavy rod. Like that thing's like. <laughs> All right, so it was kind of what we were hoping for, that first flurry at first light. We got about 20 minutes of the feeding frenzy of all these mullet. You can see behind me, there's tons of bait. And there was jacks and blues and snook and ladyfish just destroying these mullet. And then as soon as the sun comes up, they kind of stop. So probably hang out here for a bit more and then head somewhere else before we head up to Cedar Key. There's one of the big ones. All right, we're just about done with Stuart. Um, what is the score? We caught a ton of jacks, all little ones, but fun to catch. We saw some giant jacks, a big school of those river donkeys push through here and they're just so insanely big. Um, anyway, they just, they move so fast, so. You know, we didn't have a chance at them. Snook fishing has been pretty poor. I caught a little baby one. Uh, this morning was cool with the bluefish and the jacks and the snook busting on all that bait. Um, so that was cool. We caught some fish here, which is good because sometimes, you know, it could be real. Oh, here's those big jacks again. Sometimes it could be really bad. But, um, you know, we caught at least enough fish to keep us busy with the jacks and the bluefish, which is just fun. Big old mangrove snappers. But honestly, it's it's this water quality down here. I mean, Florida's got to get their act together. I know there's a lot of people pushing for this stuff, but, you know, they got to do something about the, the Okeechobee discharge is killing this, this fishery. I mean, everyone, it's a consensus. Most people say, like, look, you can catch snook at certain times, but it's not the same fishery because of all this water. This water should not be chocolate brown right now. You know, this time of year, you know, it should look like ocean water almost, not quite in some areas of the river. But some of the spots I was at, it should almost look like ocean water. It's typically pretty clear. Now it is like tea colored. So I think that has a lot to do with it because there's still a lot of bait and a lot of mullet. Just not seeing the numbers of, of, of redfish, trout, and snook that we, we have in the past. Um, unless they moved on elsewhere. Anyway, that's it. Um, my dad is walking the dog. But we're going to move on up to uh, Cedar Key now uh, or very shortly and uh, hopefully get on some reds and some trout. I don't know if we're gonna do any fishing today. We may start tomorrow, but that is the plan. Cedar Key, reds, trout, drum, boat, all that stuff. Whoa, whatever it is, is big. Holy crap. Holy sh Oh my gosh, a massive red. 